Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Mm. And I'm work off. Creation proto carbon foam. <laughs> it is real. We thought it was just, we were just joking with the name of this thing. It is a carbuncle. It is the one from FF5. Oh, So I'm gonna assume the spikes are bad. Yeah, the spikes are bad. He says things. Topaz stones. Oh, those are actual stones. A second form? No. Uh, excuse me? Got his, got his food.
A stock marker. Oh, that's the armor that we'll get from the normal version. Savage is gonna be interesting for that. 
And I won't be able to do it for a long while. I've still got to do three and four. Yeah. Give me an accessory. No accessory for me, which means I'll have to come back and do this one later. I got a combination now for that. Nice. So this is where research is conducted. Or creations imbued with poisons and venoms. And Eric, Eric, and I were conveyed not far from here. It seems our foe is finding it more difficult to surprise us. Fortunately for you, since they appear to hear, appear particularly clean, keen to see you dispatched as quickly as possible. Even alone, you are a force to be reckoned with. Part of me is glad you emerged victorious, that I might observe you further. For the circumstances differ, I might thank you for keeping my son alive for this long. But I believe we can forego introductions unless I have misread you. All too familiar. Paragon. <laughs> A charming act. Afraid I hold so I hold no such position. No, I am La Hobrea of the Convocation of <laughs> It is I mean we knew, but that sounded like he, we knew him more than we should. If you truly are who you claim to be, then answer this question. That can wait. What is this? Now this is curious. The trap I rove at your feet reacts to ether, but you remain unaffected. Such thin ether and in an unfamiliar composition composition besides, it is no matter, I suppose. A more direct approach will be get the same results. I would advise you to think carefully before deciding your next action. Strike me down here, and Eric. Eric's wish shall remain unfulfilled. Never again shall he beat Athena. Mother, you would dare hide behind her knee? Listen well, Eric. We are of the same mind concerning your mother. You have your allies for protection, so what harm is there in hearing me out? Eric, wait. There is a question I must need to ask first. If you truly are La Brea, why speak such blatant lies? Bitter in defeat, are we? Say my name. A simple request. Themis, was it? A tri 
soon forgotten as you are. No, his true name. I have my answer. The how the La Habrea I knew took pride in the confrontation. It would never suffer its thing the denigration. Solely his station with this farce. It's not really him. It's what are you saying? La Brea and I Oh, so eye to eye, but I know his voice when I hear it. Indeed, he makes a passing fine invitation in appearance and matter. But the real liar there would never call me by the name Themis. Or Themen? Ah, the real one. What troubles have we got? What trouble have you gotten yourself into, Elidibus? So it is Elidibus. Poster, you have no right to claim that form, that mask. is a mask that's sickening me to wear. The mask of La Habre, the man who values his position above all, who would murder his own wife in pursuit of duty. Yet you assume my name and the wheel powers that are mine by right? Any work you may have hinges on that which you so despise. Such trifle provocations. I would not be go to into finishing this ere my work is done. Eric, listen well. I am Hepto Heptotodus. And it is I who whom you should call father. What? Mm, name of creation. We would do not, we would do well not to stand idle while our enemy is about. I believe an explanation is in order, Elidibus. Let us return to safety so you may provide it. That sounds more like the La Habre I know. Before we depart, however, I must offer you an apology. As Lala Pryor said, I am an Elidibus, one of the convocation and emissary of their will. For reasons which do not involve you, it is it was necessary to hide my identity while investigating this place. Still, the excuse is my deception. I know a thing or two about deception myself. That is reassuring to hear. The burdens we bear are heavy enough without adding the grudge, a grudge to their weight. In any case, we are pressing matters to attend to. Let us do as La Habre has suggested and return to the gates. We can speak there. Please help him. Save him. What is that last part? As you are aware of by now, I am known as Elidibus. After my dear friend Azim and I detected irregularities in pandemonium we decided the best course of action would be to hide my station as i conducted my investigation 
I am sure La Habrea as well is eager to find out why I hid who I was. So I shall save that story for later. First, I would like to speak to you, my of you, my friend. Although neither Azem nor I have had ever met you in the flesh, you came with this you came with his highest recommendation. That alone was enough for me to accept you as an ally of my question. That somewhere in the world, a guiding star so similar to himself was out there, amused as him to no end. There was not a shade of doubt in his heart that you would be a formidable ally. Furthermore, I've heard stories from that mistress Vanat who held the position of as I am previously, journeyed with a familiar much like yourself. That made the decision to trust you all the easier. She too now dons the white robes of an advisor. If she places her absolute faith in you, I knew I would be in careful little hands. Aware though I am, I was of the path you had walked. I had no interest in exposing you. I merely wanted to meet you, to travel by your side for a while. I may know but a small portion of your whole story, but that is enough for me to believe you would never lead me astray. I wanted to tell you that. Bonnie, he knew. 